Oh, he's blowing her a kiss. Oh. I'll just do like all the way. Ah! Oh my God. <laughs> And welcome back to another episode of Royal Twin Adventures. We are back with Bellatrix and Charles. Charles is going to be going on his first date with Fallon in this episode. And then Bellatrix is going to continue solving the Strangerville mystery. So that's what we're about to do. And then we'll get to Charles and Fallon later in this episode. So right now we are with Bellatrix. She has gotten all 15 pieces of evidence that she needs to enter this lab door thing. And I have gotten her the key card too. So we're about to enter and I'm kind of scared. I honestly have never gotten beyond this point from Strangerville before ever. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, so she's gonna use the key card to enter. Also, I realized the hair is clipping with her hat. So just ignore that. I will make sure to change that by the next episode, either change her hair or, oh no, what's wrong? Why are you feeling dizzy? It doesn't say why. Okay, well, we're going in you guys. All right, so we have entered, uh, okay. Next we have to find 15 spore clusters, assemble the hazmat suit, okay. And traverse to the deepest part of the secret lab. Oh, great, okay. Okay, so we have to get spore clusters. I'm kind of scared to go in here, but I'm gonna have her go in here anyway. Okay, oh no. Oh my God, what I do, what I do to her, you guys? Oh my God, she's not dead, is she? <gasps> These spores are too toxic to pass without protection. Question about the spores around town to see if there's some way to protect yourself. Are you serious? Okay. Oh my God. <gasps> um, now Bellatrix is possessed. It says it's supposed to last for 24 minutes. Oh my God. I literally have been here for like a minute it and this happens already. Okay, it, it's supposed to go away. So that's good. At least it's not like a permanent thing. Okay, so I have to ask about the spore clusters around town. So, all right, Bellatrix, you're no longer possessed. Okay, I'm gonna go do that then. Let's go do that. Oh no, it says the bloom begins. Leaving the secret lab, you can't help but notice the sky has shifted to an eerie color. Oh great, you'll need to find a way to protect yourself from the toxic spores of the secret lab. Yeah, I know, we have to do that. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. I won't have you guys watch all of this, but yes, I'll do that and then we'll come back with the secret lab with something that'll protect ourselves. All right, so I got this scanner from one of the military personnel. I've been using it and I have 11 spore clusters so far. So we're gonna do it one more time and I think we should have 15. So yeah, Bellatrix is, is doing this. This is kind of scary and exciting. Also, I'm glad you guys liked the intro in the last episode. It was a lot of fun to make. I felt like it was like the intro to a TV show. Okay, cool. We're gonna have 15, yay. I think once I do this, I have to make some sort of like data analysis thing. And then I have to give it to one of the scientists and then they're going to give me a spore filter. So let's just, I think we have 15, but I'll just do that one too. So then let's use the key card and go here. I also thought it was funny because in the last episode, I saw a comment saying, what did it say? It says, LOL, Bella Sargent is gonna have a lot of fun with her. I'm imagining a hacksaw ridge moment when she comes into the barracks for the first time. So I heard we have a princess here. You're not getting any special treatment. I love that too. I feel like that's kind of like it was. And I don't think Bellatrix wants special treatment either. But okay, so we're gonna construct, what is it? Construct infection profile data. I just realized Bellatrix is kind of doing this herself right now. Maybe I should bring one of her coworkers here, but all of them are at work. I just had her work from home for this. I should, shouldn't I? I should bring one of her coworkers here. Who did we have last time? We had Brett, I think. This is like her team. Then I'm gonna bring Brett here. And then I believe, well, I think it was Erica. I think that was the other person we had here. Just because I do think it would be like a team of people who would be here. Even though Bellatrix could totally solve this on her own, but I feel like a team would be here. So let's have them all go here. Can they enter without the key card though? Oh, they can. Okay, cool. Cause Bellatrix is already here. So yeah, they're all here. So they, they'll, they'll just stand here. Bellatrix will do most of the work. It's fine. Okay, it says the diligent analysis of the spore cluster has paid off. Take this infection profile data to a Strangerville scientist. All right, cool. Let's go find one. Let's bring our team with us. I'm also trying to think if Samaria and Bellatrix, like when would be a good time for them to see each other? Like, I don't know if Bellatrix is gonna get a break from this because it's kind of like a dangerous situation and definitely Samaria can't come here because it's dangerous here. I wish there was like a FaceTime thing or a Skype call or something they could do in the game. Maybe we will pretend that they have done that. But it also could be like a top secret mission too. So I don't know how much Samaria is gonna be able to know, but okay, let's find a scientist. Is there one just chilling here? Okay, I got one. Ask to craft spore filter. I did ask her about the spore filter before. Wow, you did it. Let me analyze this infection profile data and I will send you the spore filter in the mail. In the mail? What? Keep digging and you might find a vaccine for this infection after all. Wait, oh, 
<laughs> well, how long is that gonna take? We, okay, let's go digging then, I guess. Oh, Princess Belle. Oh, should check the mail. Her spore filter has been, <gasps> wow, that was so fast. Okay, let's go. <laughs> the lady's like right here and it already ended up in our mailbox. I was expecting it to take a lot longer than that, but it did not. Awesome. So we were also thinking that maybe Oasis Springs has kind of something to do with this and that Naya is the one who ordered the troops to go into Strangerville because this could be like just, you know, something like this dark cloud. Something has come over Strangerville and, and made all this happen. So I think Naya might have something to do with this. Oasis Springs might have something to do with this. Not like they caused it, but like they're trying to help make this all go away. So we're gonna get to find out more about that in the future too. All right, but let's check the mailbox because our filter has just magically appeared here apparently. Okay, cool. We have this spore filter. He might have, oh, hold on. The curio shop owner might have an incomplete hazmat suit to sell. Okay, that's exactly what we need. So let's go get that. I was honestly scared when Bellatrix became possessed. I thought it was like a permanent thing when that happens. All right, Bellatrix is questioning the curio shop owner about the spores in the lab. So I have a couple of hazmat suits in my secret inventory. I doubt they will be much good without a spore filter, but you are, if, but I would be willing to sell it to you if you are still interested. Yes, please. Let's, let's, we have plenty of money. Bellatrix has plenty of money. She's a princess. She comes from royalty. We have everything. Okay, secret inventory. Enjoy your brand new incomplete hazmat suit. Thank Thank you. All right, we have to combine this. So combine with spore filter, yay. All right, Bellatrix, can, can she put it on? <laughs> I love this so much. It's not really what I was expecting for it to look like. Let's go back to the secret lab and do this. Okay, Bellatrix is the only one with the hazmat suit. So I guess she's the only one going in. So let's go down there. All right, so we have to, oh, well, you know what? They were only able to get one of these. So that means that Bellatrix is the only one going in. Her team's just gonna stand out there, I guess. That's fine. Okay, cool. Let's traverse the deep, oh God, okay. Ah, no, 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 no. I don't like this. I don't like this. Oh my God. What the heck am I supposed to do in here? Okay, just go to the deepest part of the secret lab. Can I get past this stuff without being possessed? I guess we'll find out. We have our teammates just out there. Belfry's is doing like all the way. Ah! Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. Um. <laughs> I'm terrified. Oh my god, I hate this so much. If I haven't been clear, I hate horror movies. I hate suspense movies. I hate anything that's freaky or scary. And this, I am going to consider freaky and scary. No, no. Yeah, you know what? I think that's enough intense stuff for me today. I'm gonna stop here before I start crying. Well, we come back in the next episode. We'll continue Bellatrix's story here. Bellatrix, come, come back up. Let's go to safety. No, I'm not okay with this. Oh my god, that's terrifying. Holy crap. Okay, yeah. We're gonna go to, <gasps> wait, did I unleash some sort of storm? Oh my, wait, did I do this? I'm just gonna pray that they're gonna be fine because I think this is a good point to stop Bellatrix's side of this episode. Let's go to Charles. Oh my God. Okay, Bellatrix will be fine. She'll be fine. It's okay, we'll be fine. I have to like make myself recover from that a little bit. I was not, I was not expecting that. I've never seen that before. I've never seen any like leaks of that. I've never seen a picture of that. I was not expecting that to happen whatsoever. All right, let's go to college life. I'm more used to college life. Let's do this. Okay, so we're back with Charles. Charles here. Charles has a B for his GPA, which is pretty cool. Maxwell has a B minus, so they both might need to work on some things a little bit. Oh, also the mod to complete homework. I'm gonna link that in the description below because I forgot to do that in the last episode. So I apologize for that. But yeah, that's gonna be linked in the description below for the mod that I used to have the homework complete, which is just better for story purposes. So he doesn't have class today actually. So we're gonna go on a date with Fallon. Let's go meet her somewhere first. I think he's already asked her out on the date. But yeah, we're gonna Gonna, we're gonna do this. All right, so we are at this little coffee shop in Brychester with Fallon's. Oh, they can have their first, ooh, they can have their first kiss. Good to know. Okay, maybe we should just like ask her out on an official date first. So let me do that. Okay, we're on our official date. So yeah, I mean, oh, exchange numbers. I mean, they have each other's numbers. They're in the study group together. But yeah, so Fallon, we got to see her more in the last episode. Let's just get a cappuccino. I think uh, Fallon is ordering something too. Charles is already feeling feeling flirty also. I'm also going to have them sit over here at this little bar area. But yeah, so as I mentioned in the last episode too, Fallon doesn't know that Charles is a prince. So Charles is trying to keep it a secret. He has yet to have anyone really approach him yet. So 
We'll see if that happens at some point too. I am gonna have Charles start flirting with her because I think if things go well, this might be a good time for them to have their first kiss. But yeah, and I think they have, oh, that's King Kaven. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. But yeah, I mean, they're the same major. Like they have a lot to talk about. I feel like it's just, they can talk about books and writing and that's Jabari. Jabari's here too. Jabari showed up to Diana's date. Is Jabari just like spying on all of the kids? But yeah, I don't actually know if I'm, I did mention this in the last episode that her family, they own a farm. So they sell produce. So she helps out her family on the farm and she helps sell produce. If you've heard me say produce in the streams before, I've been referring to this couple. We've had Fallon planned for a while. We just couldn't say anything until Charles went to university. I mean, this is really just a coffee date. So I think Charles might want to take her out somewhere too. There is like a fancy restaurant on campus. So maybe they could go there. Oh, he's blowing her a kiss. Oh, but yeah, maybe they're talking about their family more like Fallon. I feel like Fallon's an only child too. So I think that, I mean, she doesn't have much to talk about with siblings and stuff. So maybe she's asking Charles if he has siblings and he's like, yeah, I do. And he's like, well, what do they do? And he's like, um, <laughs> like he's not telling them that his oldest sister Amira is a queen, but maybe he's telling them about Kellen and that Kellen does a lot of philanthropic work. And then also telling her about Bellatrix in the military. And she's like, oh, well that's cool. And then also saying that he's got a younger sister named Diana. So he's telling them about his siblings. I think he might have left out Amira though, just because he didn't want to tell her that like she's the queen of Windenburg. But they are getting to be like really good friends. However, she's not feeling flirty yet. And oh my God, Philip's here too. Okay, um, but I am gonna have him flirt a little bit more with her. I want her to feel flirty too. Maybe they should. Ooh, they get sweet talk. I love this, uh, like just this little bar. Yeah, Jabari's still here. <laughs> I think though that Jabari might know, like I think Charles' entire family knows that he doesn't want to tell people that he's royal. I just pretend and Jabari's not here. I feel like that might not be realistic enough. I didn't plan for him to be here. Maybe we should just tell him to go away. Let's tell all the royals to go away. Let's pretend they're not here. We got Dean here too. Yeah, just everybody go away. Oh, this right here is Charles's aunt. This is Baroness Valentina, which is Evangeline's sister. Tell her to go away too. Maxwell's not here. Go spy on Maxwell, not Charles. Maybe they can like go take a walk together or something. Maybe he'll ask if she wants to come over and study. <gasps> Let's do that. Okay, so we have a gold for the date. Technically, this is still a date. They're gonna have a, a study date. I mean, Fallon's only seen their place. Oh, this is a really nice place. Maybe they should go to Fallon's dorm. Let's go to hers instead because I feel like, I mean, well, I don't know. She's seen Charles's place. Maybe we should have just gone there. I think Fallon just thinks he comes from a really rich family because like Charles, he dresses really nicely and she's like, wow, he's always like really nicely dressed. And I mean, she's seen his place too. Okay, so this is Fallon's dorm. Fallon's room is this one. So I'm gonna have them come here and sit together. Technically they're working on their homework together, even though it's complete. So I guess I don't really have any homework for them to work on. Oh, I still have this picture of him and Araminta. Ooh, he's just holding that in his inventory. I think he's ready to throw that away. I feel like that's a big step though. But yeah, okay. We're gonna get rid of the picture of him and Araminta. He's moved on now, so that's fine. Okay, so let's um, flirt with Fallon here. Technically they're supposed to be studying. So let's pretend they are. Oh, I guess that they have to get up though. Also, Journey is her roommate too. I don't think I mentioned that. We met Journey in the last episode. All right, both of you guys feel flirty. Wow, they're okay. The romantic relationship is going up a lot. They're both feeling flirty. Okay, we're gonna have them have their first kiss. I think it's cute also because this was supposed to be a study date, but now they're having their first kiss and they're not really getting much studying done. Yay! Oh my gosh. Okay, I love this so much. I love them so much. All right. Well, I think... That's good. I think Charles, they'll, they'll, they'll study some more and then we will have him ask her maybe to dinner and then have them do that in the next episode. We'll have to see if she figures out if he's a prince or not too, cause that's gotta come up at some, oh my gosh, you should kiss him on the cheek. That's so cute. But yeah, that's gotta come up at some point. All right, why don't you guys just, just hang out and chat then. But yeah, so we'll get to see their, their date in the next episode. And then apparently we're gonna see that terrifying monster that Bellatrix has found too. So that will be interesting as well. But all right, so we're gonna end this episode here. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what you think of Charles and Fallon. Let me know what you think of Bellatrix solving the mystery or just, I don't know, I'm sorry. It might involve like a lot of screaming for me when we do that, but we'll do that in the next episode. Kind of terrified, but you know, it'll be fun. It'll be fine. If you enjoyed this, make sure you hit that like button and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.